the light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yuri of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with wood that I'll be using as a base to make a large Z Gallery style mirror. I'm doing this for a friend and I'll be using the measurements of her wall to guide me to make the appropriate cuts that I'll need for the project. I'll be making the cuts with my handy saw and I'll leave a link for this down in the description box below. Now I'm going to be gluing foam boards that I got from Walmart that's really hard and this will be glued on top of the wood using wood glue. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. It is really important to fortify the base for the mirrors, so I'm going to try my best to show you guys on camera how I did it. Oh, and speaking of cameras, here's this little cutie who just loves to be in front of the camera. One set of foam board on top of the wood is not going to be enough, so I'm going to double it. I need the wood and the boards to be firmly together when they're getting dry. Because it's really important that the base is solid and at the same time can be used for the mirrors because you don't want the mirrors falling down on you after you have it mounted on the wall. It doesn't matter what kind of colors of foam boards you use as long as you use the hard foam boards. I use the hot glue gun to keep some of the edges down. I'm prepping four boards for this mirror design because I don't want it to be too heavy when it's been lifted up to mount it on the wall. I have all the four boards here that I have prepped. I'm just going to put heavy items on top of them so that they can dry and I'm going to leave this for about four hours. Now they are perfectly and tightly glued together. I'm going to be covering the top of each of them with mirror reflective paper and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to keep this aside and then start prepping the cardboard boxes that I would need to make the pattern that would be on top of the foam boards before I have the mirrors attached to them. After getting the cuts that I want, the one that's going to be in the middle, it's not going to go right down to the bottom. I'm just going to make a slight cut in a way that I can fold the board and it would still have its shape. 
I use brand new boxes for this because it's harder than the boxes that have already been used. When I was making the cuts, I made them in such a way that when they're folded, it will give me 10 inches by 10 inches because that's the measurements of the mirrors that I'll be using for the project. I'm going to keep these aside and then go back to the board that has been covered with contact paper and I'll be making deep grooves on these boards. As you can see, after I draw out a line, I make another one to make it easier for me to carve out and have deep grooves where I'll be able to insert the cardboards. Each side of the cutout cardboard boxes will have mirrors and the distance between them is 16 inches. So when I spread out the boards, it's going to be measuring 16 inches. After I was done with the first line at the top, I went down to start the second line. All the patterns that will be on the second line is going to be in the middle of the patterns that are on the first line. Now because the second line will not have two full mirrors, when I get to the end, all I'm going to do is have just one and then the flaps for the cardboard on the other side is going to be cut in such a way that it would have the same height as the remaining pattern so that when they will be joined together on the wall, it's going to flow. I'm going to fortify this by using a stronger adhesive in between the cardboards. Here's my little cutie again, saying he wants to finish the project. <laughs> Kids. So guys, just so you know, the reason why I'm using cardboards to make this pattern is because it would help give the mirrors a definite shape. The mirrors can be glued as they are, but it will be better to have them seated on a shape rather than gluing them without support. Now I removed the pads at the back before attaching the mirrors to the cardboards. That way it stays flat. I used real mirrors for this project because I want it to look really nice and elegant. And I used 12 mirrors on each of the wooden boards that have been covered with foam boards. All I'm doing now is cleaning off the adhesive from the mirror to make it easy for me to do the final cleaning when the project is finished. These are command strips that I'm going to be using for the project and each pair can hold up to 16 pounds. I got the black and white and this is how I attach them at the back. I have just one installed and then two, three and four. This is such an elegant piece and I love the way they look like together. Now this is what it looks like at the end, the side that touches the wall and on the other side you have empty cardboard showing. So what I did was to cover a poster board with contact paper and attach them there. Now this side here looked like it was kind of empty so I decided to make another line to make it look at least fuller on the wall. This is where they meet. And I was kind of disappointed because you can kind of see where the join is, especially how this other mirror overlaps the other one. Now that really bothered me a lot, but then my friend told me, hey, it's okay because from afar, no one's going to see it. And she really likes it. So that made me feel a lot better. The table that you see here is a project that my friend and I did together. And the link for that is going to be down in the description box below. I love the simplicity and the uniqueness that this pattern has on the wall. 
I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.